Fashion Saffles. I'm so glad that you're joining me today for Life Love Beautifully Fashion Week. Um, my husband is actually behind the camera today, so any comments or questions or anything you have, I won't be able to see until later. So if I do something, um, I'm going to show you lots of examples of way to dress creatively. So if I do something and you miss it, you can watch the replay later. It'll be on catch or you can comment and I'll see if I can explain it more or add some more tutorials. But um, just to introduce myself again, Gretchen Saffles, the creator of Life Live Beautifully. This week we are talking about dress and how the gospel affects it. And then today we're talking about how to dress creatively. So with the things that you have, how can you kind of spruce it up a bit and add some style to what you have? So the first fashion tip that I want to give you is scarves. Um, a lot of y'all might not know this. This is actually a scarf that I'm wearing um, that I have made into a vest. So that's the first thing that I'm going to show y'all. Um, this scarf is made by Fashionable. And um, I'm actually giving away one of these exact scarves at the end of this periscope. So keep watching and you'll stay tuned to know how to get that. So to make a scarf into a vest, it's one of the easiest things that you can do. So let's say you've got a long scarf like this. It's long and wide. You can see it. What you do is you fold it in half. So I'm going to show y'all. I literally just folded it lengthwise in half. And now these two ends, I'm going to fold in half again. And I'm going to tie them at the very end. So I'm going to tie this. This is what I did with the scarf that I just had on. Tie it. And now you can open it up. See that? It's got two armholes now. And then you can put it on. And you can wear it as a vest. So you can practice with different scarves that you have. Um, I'm doing this one at the very beginning because a lot of people need to see it more than once. So you can rewatch the Periscope and just watch the beginning part if you missed that. So that's the first way that you can wear a scarf this fall and just add, this is just a simple outfit. It's a t-shirt and a pair of gray skinny jeans and something that as a mom, I can make my outfit look a lot cuter just by adding a scarf in. So another thing that you can do, this is my fashionable scarf. It is made um, by women in different countries and because of purchasing from them, you're able to support them. So this is a great company. Now, another way to wear it is to fold your scarf in half and put it around your neck. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull one through. So just pull one of the ends through. Now twist it and pull the other end through. And when you do that, it creates sort of a braided look, if you can see. And so whenever you wear a jacket, if you put the jacket over it, um, it's not gonna be so fluffy in your face. I know sometimes it can feel too big on. So that's all you do is you just flip one of them and then it creates a scarf. If, you can also do it like this. But you can see it's just kind of bulky and sits there, um, and it can feel like a little much. Another way that you can wear a scarf, you can kind of fluff it out. So hold it up in the front. You're going to pull it back and around. Pull both of these to the side. So this is a way that I wear scarves a lot. But if you've already done this before and you need something additional to it, you can bring these through, and you can kind of play with these. You can play around. You can actually do it the opposite way, too. Um, and it's just something you can actually loop them through again if you want to and create kind of a little knot on this side. So you can kind of play around with the ends. Um, another thing that I do sometimes, if I have a scarf that's too short, say I can't wrap it around my neck and it just looks funny every time I do and maybe it cuts up really high, um, what you can do is put the scarf around and then you can tie two knots on the end. So you can tie one here and then tie one here. And you know, I actually totally forgot to bring out a jacket right here. Um, but let's say you've got on a jean jacket. You can put it around the collar and then you can have this sort of sitting out and it adds some style again to what you're wearing. Um, another thing that you can do, this is a scarf I actually used to sell um, clothing and accessories. So this is a scarf like an infinity scarf. The thing that's different about this one is there are buttons on the end. And so what you can do, you can use this with an infinity scarf, um, or you can make one like this. You can put it around, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my buttons, or the end of my infinity scarf. I'm going to line it up on my shoulder. Now on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab underneath on the other side and flip it. So now that I've grabbed it and flipped it, and you kind of have to play around with the positioning. It might take a second, but you can kind of get the picture. So... Now I've got basically a sweater vest. Um, again, I would move this over to the side, but you can see the back. 
it's twisted and you might need a mirror to kind of fix this and everything but so that's another way to wear an infinity scarf flip it and it basically creates a little covering over your shirt then the other way to wear an infinity scarf if you don't know is literally just wrap it around your head so that's the easiest one um another thing that you can do through clothing um this is one of my long scarves is um let me think sorry doing this live so i have to think for a second i'm gonna go back and do this tutorial again with this scarf because it's a little bit longer when you pull it around you can pull one through and then flip it and pull the other one through and so um you know what pull this i'm doing it backwards and then pull this through so now we've got the braided look so adding a pop of color is something really important to dress so when you've got on something really plain one of the things that I hear from women the most is that they can't wear a certain color. They'll say, I can never wear yellow, or I can never wear pink, or a certain color like that. I want to show you that the color that's closest to your face is what's most important. So I've got an example here of this dress. It's a tan color dress, and if I were to wear it just like this, it makes me look really washed out. But if I wear it with this pop of color close to my face, it completely changes the look. And so know that the color that's closest to your face is what's most important. So for me, I can't wear really light silvers very well. I look washed out. But let's say I wear a pop of turquoise at the top or a bright red scarf. I can wear that because what's closest to your face is what's most important. It will highlight your face. Another thing to know is the gold silver test. So again, for example, if you say you don't know what colors to wear, go to a store and you can find something that is gold and something that's silver and hold it up to your face. Now, whichever color is look really lifts your face and adds some color to it and maybe even makes your cheeks look a little pink or your skin look a little bit more golden that's the color scheme that you need to stick with so some women are going to be more in the gold color scheme some are going to be more in the silver but again it doesn't mean that you can never wear any of the other colors it just means that those are what's going to make your face look really rich and really add to your articles of clothing one thing that I always think of when I'm getting dressed is I think of it like a painting. So when you look at a painting, the artist uses all of these different brush strokes and colors, and when you take a step back, you have one beautiful painting. Well, with your clothing, you want it to be like you're creating art. So when you put together accessories, pants, when you add earrings or necklaces, you want it all to create one piece and you want it to all flow together. And so, um, whenever you're choosing colors, you can also have fun with that. So don't always stick with just the usual, I'm going to go really safe. Have fun picking colors that are opposite of each other. So we're going to go back to elementary school. Let's say you pull up a color wheel. On a color wheel, the colors that are opposite of each other are complementary colors. So for example, blue and orange are opposite of each other. Those are great colors to actually match together. They're going to add a pop of color and it's going to make you have a little bit more style. So this is an example of a blue shirt that I can add an orange belt and a really fun orange necklace to and it just changes the way the shirt looks. So don't be afraid to add something that's a little bolder. Maybe it's a colorful pair of flats. Maybe it's a colorful pair of earrings. Just know that you want everything to flow so that it's one thing. Now the next thing that you can do is you can add accessories that tell a story. So for example, this necklace was made by my friend Dear Mushka and um, that's her company's name and I'm featuring her tomorrow. Well, this necklace represents a verse in Psalm 19, and so when people compliment it, I can share the gospel with them. I can share about what scripture means to me, how it's changed my life, and not only that, but through wearing this necklace, I'm reminded that Jesus Christ is all that I need. And so you can purchase necklaces like this from people. Um, another example would be this Noonday necklace. Um, Noonday is another fair trade company that supports women all over the world. I wear this necklace all the time because I love this color yellow, and it's something easy I can go to in my wardrobe. Another example um, is this Better Life bag. And we're gonna be doing a giveaway with them soon as well. This is made by refugees in Detroit. And um, so through wearing this bag, I can actually support them and I can still share about the mission that they are doing. And so um, just a few more, let me get my notes. Um, just a few more things. So about colors, there's a lot of different colors. Every single season, Pantone picks out what colors are gonna be the popular ones. So if you want to be ahead of the game, all you need to do is just Google on, um, go to Google and research Pantone colors for spring 2016. And they already have the colors picked out, so you can already know these are the colors I want to look for whenever I go shopping. Um, another thing is that everything should point to your smile. So everything that you wear should not be distracting, but it should be one thing and it should point to your face. 
So you don't want when people see you to go, oh man, look down there, or oh, look at those huge earrings. You want everything to flow and you want it to naturally highlight who you are. And so one thing to remember is that fashion is not just in a box. You can be creative. Some people um, maybe love things that are really frilly. Some people are very classic. So represent who you are when you get dressed. Don't think that you have to fit into a certain box. And then another thing that I forgot to pull out a jacket, but is to roll your sleeves. And so let's say I have a jean jacket on and I put it on. A lot of people just keep them all the way down, roll them, make them have a cuff, and even push them up a little bit. Um, this will make you look a little bit more stylish and it'll update your jean jacket. I'm just using that as an example. Or maybe your button up shirt, it'll update it and make it look a lot more stylish. And so one more last thing is to have fun with patterns. So don't always stick with the same old, same old. You can mix and match patterns. Um, that's something that's super fun and will add some style and flair. Know that your posture also counts whenever you're getting dressed. So I used to always slouch down because I'm tall and I would think that that would make me shorter, but it doesn't, it just makes me look hunchback. So notice that also your posture, your countenance and your expressions, those are all a part of your wardrobe. It's all a part of who you are and who you're representing yourself to be. And so um, those are just a few fashion tips for you. You can find more on the blog and I'll probably be hopping on um, just even over the next few weeks with more of these because they're really fun. So since we're doing a giveaway for this scarf, this is the Acepha scarf by, um, by Live Fashionable, what I want you to do to enter the giveaway is to, you've got two options. You can either post a picture on Instagram and you can share maybe a creative way to wear a scarf that you learned today. You could also just share something that you're learning from Life Live Beautifully Fashion Week. Tag Life Live Beautifully and tag LLB Fashion Week. So that's one way that you can enter. Another way you can enter is just by commenting on the picture and sharing something that you've learned. Maybe some, something that's encouraged you. Um, maybe something that you're going to do now that you've learned from watching all these videos on Fashion Week. So share those things so that we can encourage our friends and um, maybe speak life into each other and just to create and be confident in who God's created us to be. Um, so those are the two ways to enter. The giveaway will end on Sunday, and so you can do that from now until Sunday, and I will choose a winner, and you will get this amazingly cute scarf for you to wear. Thank you so much. I will see y'all later.